Okay. This is our first in the water test of our submarine Bellavia with someone on board. Me. It was all dockside with the team monitoring everything. We ran all the systems, including life support, the voice interface, and really put Belle through her paces. We came away with a page full of to-dos, but also pretty excited about how it all went. We have a new acronym for success, SWDD. Stuff worked, didn't drown. See you at the end of the video for what's next with Bellavia. Take a look. Okay. Yeah, off the trailer, I think. Bell, right full rudder, please. Confirm right full rudder. Very well. Very well. Answering right full rudder. Uh, rudders have just moved. Still a little tail high, but I think we're okay. I think we're floating. Copy that. Uh, it appears you're off the trailer. Okay, I think we're in a good hold position. Does Brian concur? Copy that. You can have Colton watch the end of ramp. The fins are still a little above the water, uh, a couple inches above the water. I think we have four feet to the edge of the ramp yet for the tires, so still a little farther. The test took an hour and a half from hatch close to hatch open. Not only was this a test of the sub, but it was also an exercise in launching and recovering the sub from the water. Since then, we've worked through all the pages of the to-dos. With winter here, we took advantage of the bad weather and did a major overhaul. We replaced 700 pounds of concrete keel weights with steel ones. The weights are on the very bottom of the skid. This meant gutting all of the support section of the sub. All the tanks, plumbing, batteries, and valves had to be removed. The steel weights have less volume for the same weight as the concrete ones. That gives a lot more room in the underhull support deck. 
we also installed an inertial measuring unit for the vertical thruster system. These thrusters are what pull Bell under the water for the last part of the dive after the ballast tanks do their thing. The IMU makes the thrusters operate like drone propellers, keeping the sub level at all times. There are over 800 separate programs running Bell. We've started updating the code for better error handling and integrating the voice system into the onboard troubleshooting. That way, Bell herself can tell us when there's a problem. The submarine project has already given us an amazing level of experience in complex human to system integration, life support, and multi-network operations in a harsh environment. The submarine systems are the very ones that are going into our crude high altitude airships. We're now getting ready for the next big step. First dive. Wish us luck. I'm JP. Thank you for watching. JP Aerospace, America's other space program.